In the previous two session, we had discussed few basic examples to convert finite automata into regular expression using state elimination method. In this session, we will discuss few additional problem using state elimination method. So in state elimination method, we will remove the state one by one, keeping only starting and final states. Let's start the session. First, we will design a DFA over sigma is 0 and 1 such that number of 1s is of the form 3m plus 1 where m is 0, 1, 2 and so on. It means the language L will consist of all string W and W is any string over 0 and 1 such that if we will count number of 1s in W, it will be equal to 3m plus 1 where m is. So first we will design its DFA and then we will convert that DFA into regular expression using state elimination method. So we can observe the number of 1s in L is 1, 4, 7, 10 and so on. So it will accept a single one. There is no restriction on number of 0. It will also accept 4 ones. So we can say on reading of 4 ones it will reach into the final state. Then on reading of 7 also it will reach into the final state. And there is no restriction on number of 0. So we can put any number of 0 on Q0, QF and Q1. Now we will try to find out its equivalent regular expression. So first we will try to remove Q1 state. So Q0, 0 and 1 and let's suppose it is QF on 0. So for removing Q1 state, we can put its effect that is on QF if we will read 1, 0 star 1, we are moving to Q0 state. So we can write down it as 1, 0 star 1. Now we can consider this problem as identical to x, y, z, w, where x is 0, y is 1, z is 0 and w is 1, 0 star 1. So for finding its regular expression as discussed in the first lecture of state elimination method, we can remove this edge and for removing this edge we can put its effect on q0 or qf if we want to put its effect on qf we will start with qf and we will take it as w x star y and we will put this loop on qf state so there is a self loop of z as well as w x star y and its corresponding regular expression is we had already discussed it will be equal to x star y and z plus w x star y whole star now we can put value of x y and z so x is 0 so 0 star y is 1 moving from q0 to qf and z is 0 and w is moving from qf to q0 that is 1 0 star 1 and x is 0 so 0 star and y is 1 a loop of this one and we will get the final regular expression so this will represents the final regular expression for the given finite automata given the finite automata we want to convert this finite automata into regular expression. Q0 is the starting state and QF is the final state. So we will try to remove Q1 and Q2 state. We need to put the effect of Q2 to Q1 and Q1 to Q2 transitions on Q1 and Q2 state. So if it is Q0, we will read 0, we will reach to Q1, 1, 0 and qf state 1 and q2 there is a self loop of 0 and null 
so if we want to remove this edge from q2 we will read one we will move to q1 state then there is a self loop of one star and zero we will come back to q2 state so we can write down it as one one star zero self loop similarly if we want to remove the edge of q1 to q2 we can say there is a self loop of zero zero star one now we can easily able to convert this into the gnfa q0 to qf by reading of 0 1 plus 0 0 star 1 or 0 as well as we can write down 1 0 plus 1 star 0 whole star so its corresponding regular expression is 0 1 plus 0 0 star 1 star 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 1 star 0 whole star so this represents the final regular expression corresponding to the given finite automata